Hi everybody, namaste to you all and welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, if you are new here, feel free to subscribe, leave a comment because that is appreciated. Mm -hmm. Today I want to speak about how to trust the process even if things seem to go not your way, okay? Mm -hmm. So what I've seen in my own journey was the fact that it wasn't always easy. It wasn't always easy to be myself, to feel good maybe. It wasn't always easy to, to trust the process. But what I'm realizing is the fact that in the roughest moments we become strong. In the roughest moments we become who we really are. And what I'm realizing is the fact that the universe always works in perfect ways. Okay, so what is meant for you will actually happen for you. And when you have this perspective, you can begin to actually trust the process. So when you see that everything that is happening is not happening to you, but more likely for you, it's like you get the perspective of trusting. You get the perspective of becoming who you really are in the process. Now, we all go through rough moments and we all sometimes are out of alignment with who we really are. We, sometimes we get out of alignment with our true essence. But what I'm realizing is the fact that sometimes you need to be disconnected in order to learn how to connect again. Now, from our perspective, it's so important to step into a creative process to do what feels good for you, okay? If you are doing what you love, you realize that the universe will actually respond to you. Because what I've realized is the fact that it's all energy, it's all frequency. And the more that we step into doing what we love, is the more that we trust the process. So when you do what you love, it's like you actually increase your frequency to the next level. You increase your vibration to the next level. And that feels good. So if you really want to trust the process, you gotta find your purpose. Okay, you gotta find your mission. You gotta find your skills, talents, and your creative abilities. You gotta step into that purposeful experience. Because I believe that nothing is random in this life. Everything has a cause and everything has an effect. And your life has a purpose. And I see that so many of us, we are living out of, out of alignment with our life's mission. We are living out of alignment with our life's purpose. But you know, sometimes it's okay again to be disconnected because in those moments you actually learn to connect again. You learn to get to know things about yourself, okay? So my suggestion is guys, even if it feels like you don't wanna do it, even if it feels like you are being disconnected, my suggestion is go ahead and find your soul mission. Go ahead and be yourself in the process. Go ahead and trust yourself in the process. That is so important to be in alignment with who you really are. And you know, sometimes it feels like we are being we are going through rough moments. Sometimes it feels like we are going through rough experiences. But my my the the thing is that the fact that these things are not happening to us, they are happening for us, okay? So whatever you are experiencing in your life, that thing is actually trying to teach you something about yourself. That thing is trying to teach you something about who you really are, okay? So even if it feels like you are emotionally down or mentally down, just trust the process. Trust that everything that is meant for you will actually come into your life. And that is actually uh, such a powerful state of consciousness to be into. To know that whatever, to know that everything that needs to happen for you will happen for you, okay? So again, the universe works in perfect mathematical ways and it always responds to you. It always gives you what you need, okay? So you may not always get what you want, but in essence, you will get what you need. So my suggestion is look around yourself and be grateful for whatever you already have right now into your life. Be grateful for everything that you have, even if it's not always positive, it's still a lesson. Okay, so my suggestion is just go ahead and be yourself, love yourself. Okay, so if you really want to trust life, you gotta trust yourself because again, the universe works in relationship with your energy. The universe works in relationship with yourself. So if you don't have a good relationship with yourself, you cannot have a good relationship with life. So my suggestion is go within yourself and look at your own actions, look at your own feelings, look at your own thoughts and get to actually get to master these things okay get to make the best out of these things because again it's all happening in relationship with you it's all happening in relationship with your vibration so if your energy is not 
in alignment. You cannot be in alignment with the universe. But when you are stepping and doing the work, when you are stepping into your soul's mission, when you are trusting the process, it's like you get to increase your frequency to the next level. It's like you get to attract uh, new people, circumstances and events into your life. And what, I'm, what I've seen lately in my own journey was the fact that I felt a bit disconnected. But what I'm realizing in those moments is the fact that in the disconnected state, I learned to connect again. So it's all about your inner world, okay? The universe responds to your inner world. The universe responds to your energy. So what is your energy? okay because if your energy is high you can also begin to trust the process and again guys the universe works in perfect mathematical ways the universe always gives you what you need so again you may not get what you want but you are always getting what you need so take responsibility for your inner world be in alignment with who you really are and you will see magic happen you will see how you have the power to attract everything that you need but you gotta trust the process okay you gotta trust the process you gotta uh, know that what what is meant for you will always happen for you okay so what is meant for you will always happen for you that is how to be in alignment that is how to trust the process know that thing that everything that needs to happen for you will actually happen okay guys so it's not always easy but you know when you accept a negative experience, it's like you get, you get to have the power to transform it and transcend it into a positive one. Okay, so it's about balancing this duality between good and bad. There is always a good in the bad and there may always be a bad in the good. Okay, so accept everything that is happening into your life. Transform it integrate it and trust the universe because what is meant for you again will always happen for you but also don't forget to do the work don't forget to step into your own talents don't forget to step into your own skills and gifts because we need you in this on this planet we need you to uh, really um, serve the world we need you to be in alignment with who you really are okay we need you to be yourself so love yourself trust the universe do the work connect to who you really are and you will see magic happen the universe always works in perfect ways all that you gotta do is learn to match the energy match the frequency and you will see magic happen okay guys so thank you so much for watching and this was today's message on how to trust the universe even if seems seem even if things seem to not go your way in a way it's always going in your favor even if it seems like sometimes it is not you're actually at the right moment at the right time and everything that is happening into your life is not happening to you but more likely for you guys namaste to you all and again if you're into the youtube channel feel free to subscribe leave a comment because that is appreciated i love you so much and see you on the next video bye bye